Hello my beauties and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and firstly apologies if you hear noises coming from outside. They are building a huge retirement home complex thing just on the other side of the road and they're relentless so apologies if you can hear that. So today's video I am so super excited is a collab with just two of my favorite people um, so we have Erica Conga um, I will link both Erica's and Marina's channels in the description box below please go check them both out they are amazing you will love them I promise um, so yes first there is Erica Conga I'll make sure I pop her picture pictures up um, Erica is I was gonna say like a sister but she is she's my sister sister from another mister my family I absolutely adore Erica her husband her kids and my my niece and nephew I adore them and of course Erica's beautiful grandson oh he is just so precious so precious um but yeah Erica has been in my life for a, a good a good while now over two years i think and she's amazing guys if you haven't checked her channel out you really need to she does such beautiful makeup looks um but also she's an amazing incredible storyteller and she also does a series called true crime in oregon on her channel which you really really need to check out if you're into true crime and then we have our beautiful Marina, who is our Swedish beauty. I absolutely adore Marina. Um, I've known her since probably near the beginning of my channel. And she is just so beautiful. She loves the colourful makeup. She's so funny, so talented. And oh, her videos are just so calming. So if you like to chill, watch some beautiful makeup happen, feel relaxed, Marina's your girl. Amazing. And obviously I would have, I hope I would have put pictures up by now. Um, so yes, please, please, please go check out Marina and Erica. You will love them both. They're amazing. We've collabed before. If you're not new to my channel, you'll know who these beautiful ladies are. So we decided that was a really long intro. We decided to collab using the Artitude Cosmetics Colour Splash Palette. This was Artitude Cosmetics first palette. I absolutely adore this. Um, for full transparency, I am a brand ambassador for Artitude Cosmetics. I was a huge fan of the products long, long before I became a brand ambassador. But I'm super proud to be a brand Brand Ambassador for such an amazing brand. The owner, Rux, is just such a beautiful person inside and out. And her products are amazing. I do have a discount code with Artitude Cosmetics, which I'll pop on the screen now. And it will also be in the description box below for you to check out should you wish to. Okay, I've rambled for long enough. So we are going to make a start. So we thought we'd do like summary looks. So I'm not gonna go for my usual green. I know, right, what's wrong with me? I've no idea what Marina and Erica are doing, but I'm gonna be sticking mostly with this kind of area here, the pinks and purples, I think, yeah. So I'm going to start, I think I'm gonna start the should I start on the outer part? I'm going to start with grape. And I'm going to use one of these Artitude Cosmetics brushes. This was from the first set of brushes. I love these. Um, my eyes are already primed with the P. Louise base in Rumor 02. I have been waiting to collab with these two ladies again for a while it's always so much fun i absolutely adore this palette and both marina and erica do amazing amazing looks and i wouldn't be surprised if i didn't see marina using the purples and erica using the greens but we'll see we'll see um, there's been times when we've done very similar looks, um, so yeah, we shall see. 
but I do absolutely love this palette and for a first palette from a brand I just think Rox did such an amazing job because it is a really beautiful palette I have all of her palettes um, so there's this one the color splash and um, the VIP exclusive the Phoenix and the Manita Untamed and they are all absolutely stunning stunning palettes and between all of them you can do pretty much any look you want they're so good but I do love this palette my daughter also has this palette and she loves it and so yeah guys Altitude Cosmetics is a UK indie brand which for me obviously being in the UK is nice and easy and yeah like I said the products are amazing absolutely amazing and I know that both Marina and Erica love Artitude Cosmetics also Marina has a lot of the water activated liners as do I <laughs> very many a whole drawer full which you will see coming up in my collection and declutter video soon and I can say I I know I won't be decluttering any of those because they are amazing they're so loud out there okay so now I'm going to take one of these smaller fluffy brushes um, from Artitude Cosmetics also and I'm going to go into Candy the pink I'm getting my, my summer groove on. Yeah, I'm super excited to see what looks both Erica and Marina come out with. They're going to be beautiful and colourful. I was about to say you can only really do colour, but there, there are some neutrals in here, so you, you really could do a neutral look with this palette also. But yeah... It's it's like a rainbow palette, but with extra. I'm terrible at describing things. I apologise, but yeah, I'm just gonna take this pink all the way over. The brushes from Artitude Cosmetics also are amazing. These colours have so much pigment and they're so blendable. So yeah, so let's talk a little bit more about my beautiful collaborees. Collaborees? Um, so yeah, Erica, um, I, I helped her get her channel up and running, which was so much fun. She kind of reached out to me saying she'd love to do it, but didn't know how etc so I was like no just do it you need to just do it and she literally is a natural in front of the camera a complete natural and a natural storyteller she just she has the best stories and she just tells them so well I absolutely suck at storytelling oh okay there's some huge lorry things etc out there so if there may be a bit more noise I apologize if there is the reverse beeping etc unfortunately if I waited for them to finish I would only be able to film at night and sadly for me nighttime is the worst time for my body with pain so it's a bit of a no-go I'm just going to go back in with grape, the purple, and just deepen up in there a bit with that. I don't know if I'm going to need to use the black, maybe a tiny bit. Let's see, I don't think I'm going to need to. Now, I think I'm going to blend the edges out with blush. Blush. 
So yeah, Erica recently started her True Crime in Oregon series and she really does such amazing research into um, the cases and really kind of helps do the victim, give the, gives the victim justice. She does them justice. I think she does a great job in telling the victim's story. And true crime is something I have a huge interest in. That's something else that both me and Erica have in common is that both of us have studied psychology. Um, Erica actually has her degree in psychology. So it's a shared interest. And yeah, like I said, she just does an amazing job of of those videos. So yeah, if you are into true crime, she covers the, a lot of the big Oregon cases. Um, so that's where that's where she lives. She lives in Oregon. And she just does such beautiful makeup looks. She's another colour lover, but she's also comfortable doing neutral looks too, which is something I... It, it's out of my comfort zone. Brown's are out, <laughs> way out of my comfort zone. I am trying, but yeah, they're not, not my general. But Erica can literally do any colour justice. She does such beautiful looks. looking good <laughs> and then marina marina lives in sweden and is from sweden she is so funny and talented she is another color lover and much like me i think the neutrals on yeah not not her thing and she does the most stunning colourful looks and with beautiful different coloured winged liners and she uses a lot of the Artitude Cosmetics, the K-Kit Water Activated liners and she is another, well, both Erica and Marina love to support the indie brands, much the same as myself. Marina does a lot of videos like subscriber request ones as well so I love that she does that if you're looking for a beauty youtuber a creator that takes on board what you want to see Marina's so good at that so so good um we talk a lot we quite often will usually on a Wednesday. Um, we'll sit and do our makeup together on video call. I love doing that. It's so much fun. Um, I speak to both Marina and Erica a lot. Erica calls me every morning before she gets ready for work. Um, I speak to Marina at least once a week. And yeah, just such beautiful, wonderful people. And tomorrow, is the launch day of my collab palette with St. Angel Sinners, my Steph's Peer. And within that palette, Erica has a shade, um, Noni. And that is what she is known to, known by, as, by her. I can't get my words out. That is what they're hoping her grandson will call her. Um, so yeah, it's super special and I'm sorry for the moon that she's represented in there and she is a green shade and then Marina is a honeybee because she well she keeps bees I'm terrified of bees absolutely terrified of them um but she assures me they're friendly but yeah her and her husband they keep bees um, but then I keep snakes and Marina's terrified of snakes. So we're kind of different ends of the same thing. Yeah, I have no idea how she can walk anywhere near all of those bees without running screaming. 
but then I'm pretty sure she feels the same about my snakes so yeah okay that is looking beautiful so I'm gonna take a flat brush this is from Artitude Cosmetics also from the newer brush collection and I'm first going to go into violet shade here So yeah, both Marina and Erica have their own shades within my palette and yeah, Marina's favourite colour is purple, so of course her shade is a purple, um, but Erica her favourite is green, so if she has a green shade, but yes, Honeybee kind of suited Marina both in the sense of she keeps bees, honeybees, um, but also she is a honeybee. She's just so sweet and so lovely. And yeah, a real honeybee. So that's super exciting. Also, I do love these shades. Now, I definitely don't dig this palette out enough. It is such a beautiful palette. And whilst they are more towards your classic shimmer style, they're a bit, they're just that bit shinier. But I think they look absolutely gorgeous. They've got that kind of almost metallic, you can see what I'm trying to explain. No good at explaining things. Stop trying, Steph. You can see for yourselves, guys. Um, absolutely gorgeous shade. It's still, it's a, a palette that I would recommend. It's very beginner friendly. But absolutely stunning. Okay. So the inner part of my lid I think I'm gonna go in with rose we're really going the pinky purpley like summer flowers that's what I'm thinking summer flowers and this pink shimmer is absolutely gorgeous I love this every time I use this I think oh my god I really need to dig this out more I need more hours in the day and more than one face. That's what I need. <laughs> yeah, absolutely stunning palette. I am finding myself wondering what shades Marina and Erica are going to be using. I will find out when you guys do by watching their videos. Yeah, these shades are absolutely stunning. So have any of you guys tried Artitude Cosmetics? And if you have, what do you think? What are your thoughts? on her products if you have more than one of the palettes what's your favorite one i think i change my mind depending on my mood because all of the palettes i adore and depending on how i'm feeling it depends on what shades i want to use Possibly say the the new, the Manny to Untamed has my heart more so at the moment, but then I'm saying that and I'm using this thinking, oh, I'm so in love with this palette. Are you guys like that? Do you kind of change your minds depending on your mood or do you just have set favourite palettes? You do have a couple of palettes that 
just our favourites. Just because. And this is definitely, definitely one of my favourites. Look how beautiful is that. Love it. Okay, let's pop a bit more of grape, the purple. I'm just going to go into the outer area just to kind of blend into that shimmer. There is some fallout, but then I have not been careful in the slightest. You can definitely do your face first and use this palette, just obviously more tapping off, don't overpack the brush, etc. I'm not going to try and teach you guys how to suck eggs. So let's have a think. Okay. So I think I'm going to head off now, finish my face, and then I will come back. I'll show you the finished look. We'll have a quick chat. So yeah, if you would like to see that and hear that, then don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'm super excited to see what Marina and Erica's looks look like. I cannot wait. Um, before I chat anymore, I'm just going to quickly let you know what else I popped on my face. Um, firstly, from the palette for under my eyes, I went in with grape and then candy and then blush the same as i did on the top and then on my inner corner and brow bone highlight i used moonstone i love these um for the wing i went in with midnight so i decided to do like an eyeshadow wing a bit more soft i think it went really well i love it i love this palette Okay, so also on my eyes, the lashes I'm wearing are from Artitude Cosmetics, from one of their older ranges. Um, the ones in particular I'm wearing called, are called Poison, and they were from the Bad Girls collection um, in there. Um, so yes, the ones I have on are called Poison. In my waterline, I went in with the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Amethyst Hour. I think it goes perfectly. And then for blush, I went into my Blend Bunny Cosmetics Bare Cheeks Palette. This was a gift from my beautiful friend, Yannette. It is amazing. Um, and I went in with Baby Girl. Such a stunning blusher. Formula in these is amazing. Um, for my highlighter today, I went into my... Ugh. For my highlighter, I used the Glam Light and Michaela Part 2 highlighter palette. This was a gift. And I used Starstruck, the more purpley one. I love this palette. And then, where am I at now? For my lips, um, I wanted a really nice kind of bright pink. To go with this look so i went in with the mac what are you pink and you'll miss it powder kiss lipstick um i think it goes perfectly let me know what you guys think um so yeah i'm super super excited for this collab erica and marina thank you so so much for wanting to collab with me again i cannot wait to see your looks and um, this has just been so much fun i hope you like my look um I believe we're all doing summary looks, so yeah, super excited to see what Erica and Marina create. Um, so yeah, if you've liked this video, please do give it a like. Um, it really helps me out, I think. Um, if you are new, if you've come over from Marina or Erica's channel, hi, I'm Steph, welcome. I love colourful makeup. I love to support indie brands. Um, so yeah, if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please do hit the subscribe button. And thank you so much for joining me today, spending this time with me. I appreciate you and love you so very much. Thank you. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Yeah. Stepping in the spot like she own it Looking like the world is your runway She can 
set it off like a gunplay. Oh my, yeah. Talk of the city with the party. Always getting praised like it's Sunday. She said, baby, what you gonna do about it?